Good afternoon. I'm Al Cresta. American conductor Sir Gilbert Levine has led a distinguished international career, conducting great orchestras worldwide and making some history along the way, too. In February of 1988, Sir Gilbert was summoned to the Vatican, where he met at the palace there with Pope John Paul II, who was 67 years old, and they took up with conversation, during which time Sir Gilbert Levine had the... (laughs) chutzpah, to tell Pope John Paul II that he believed God put him on this earth to make things better between Catholics and the Jewish people. Tell me about that first meeting with uh, Pope John Paul II. Well, it's important to understand that I, like everyone else, expected that I would have nothing to say. In fact, I was told by a member of the American diplomatic community that I shouldn't prepare anything to say because there wouldn't be a time to say anything, (laughs) that I should just have my picture taken with the Pope and have a wonderful memory for myself and my grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And instead of that, I was led into the private library completely alone, nobody with us at all. It was from the moment I met him, the most extraordinary encounter I would ever have in my life. He was interested in every aspect of what my experience was in his hometown, in Krakow. He was the third Catholic priest I ever met in my life. Wow, so you didn't have a whole lot of Catholic background. (laughs) I had none. I had none. I was raised in the Jewish community, but my family did come from Poland, and I think that connection was deeply important for the Pope, that my family had left Poland uh, at the turn of the 19th to the 20th century, and that I had chosen to go back when most people were trying desperately to get out of Poland because of communism. But I felt that it was the only time I would ever be with him. I was astonished that I was with him at all, and I felt that about what he could mean for the bringing together of these two great faiths. After I said that sentence to him, which really was nothing but chutzpah, it was incredible (laughs) that I said that, he was silent, just looked down in deep thought. After minutes of this silence where I thought I had said the stupidest imaginable thing, (laughs) he summoned people to the private library, and people came in, including my wife, who looked at us as if to say, what happened? And then the Pope went to the door and said, see you at your concert. I hadn't known anything about a concert, and that began a 17-year relationship with the Pope that was the greatest honor I could have imagined as an artist to have the opportunity to fulfill the creative wishes of somebody of the stature.